Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! We've got one thing left to take care of before we take on Sephiroth, and that's to pay one last visit to Bugenhagen. What could be wrong with him? Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have let him take a shower. All that water must have screwed up his hover conversion or something. Uh-oh. It's that music again. For some reason, this tune actually provokes more of an emotional response for me than even Eris' theme. I guess just because I know Eris' theme so well. You're gonna be all right, Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen? No. This thing just gets me a little choked up. That's all. Oh, he's just gonna go on the airship. Oh, okay. He's still gonna be all right. No, no, he's dead. And we get Red 13's ultimate weapon, the Limited Moon. It works the same way as Sid's ultimate weapon does. The, uh, the more MP he has, out of his maximum MP, the more damage he'll deal. Okay, well that's everything I came here for. So now, let's get out of here. I gotta return to the airship anyway, and gotta get my material all set up, gather my emotions, and then we'll head on over to the Northern Cave to take on Sephiroth. Okay, we're all set up to go to the North Cave to take on Sephiroth, but let's take a look at what we got here first. Now here's the party that I will be using, Cloud, Red 13, and Sid. I'm primarily using them for their ultimate weapons than their limit breaks, really. Uh, primarily with Red 13 and Sid, the nice thing about them is because their damage will be dependent on their MP. So basically, all I have to do is not cast any spells, and they'll always be at maximum. So that can be give me a lot of control over how much damage they're dealing. Cloud, well, I kind of have to take with me. So basically, just try to keep his HP at maximum, so he'll be able to deal maximum damage. Now if we look at the other characters, their ultimate weapons, Barret's, it's dependent on how much AP you equip on, or of the materia you equip on his ultimate weapon. So, I mean, the problem is that I haven't done a whole lot of grinding, so I can't really deal as much damage as I could with Cloud or Red there, or Sid. Tifa it was worthy of consideration, to be sure. I mean, if you keep her limit gauge at full, and then you say, uh, what is it, death blow and added, a f added cuts, I mean, you could still get a normal attack in there, or even mine with her, you know? So she can deal quite a bit of damage, you'd have a lot of control over um, keeping her limit gauge at full. The only thing is that you couldn't use double cut or slash all with her, so you'd probably have to use, like I said, death blow or mime in order to actually get some damage out of her. So, I mean, I could have used her, but I just think I like Red 13 and Sid a little better, especially because of their limit breaks, too. Yuffie's ultimate weapon, the Conformer, is dependent on uh, the level of the enemies 
that you're fighting or who she's attacking. So really, that can vary from battle to battle. I don't really care for that. Kate Sith is the same as Cloud, based on HP. Vincent's is based on the number of kills you, he's made, which, since I haven't used him that much, I mean, I used him a fair amount, but not enough to really make the death penalty worth it. And then the long barrel rifle with death blow, or death blow and added cut just doesn't cut it. <laughs> it doesn't uh, deal enough damage for my taste. So let's take a look at the equipment then, if I can. There we go. I got sprint shoes on everyone. Oh, I got to equip the limited moon on him. There we go. But yeah, a Mistile for Cloud, Gigas Armlets, Sprint Shoes, I think that's the way to go there. Then for the Materia, we got Chocomog Elemental on Cloud's weapon there, because there's going to be a few enemies that are susceptible to win there, in the final area. Master Summon, just because, why not? You, you don't have any side effects from it. That's the nice thing about that over the normal Summon Materia, because some of them will hamper your HP by like 10%. This has no handicap, so that's good there. Double cut, of course, enemy skill. Manipulate, because we're going to be able to get all the remaining enemy skills in the final area, uh, including laser for my third enemy skill, Materia. We haven't been able to get that for quite a while. So, yeah, we want Manipulate on Cloud, since he has the highest level there. Master Magic, all primarily for Restore, but we could use other things if we so choose. Enemy skill, Mime for Red 13, primarily for Double Cut and Slash Off. Restore all, then we got Contain added effect on Sid with the slash all there so that we can get a whole bunch of enemies stoned or stopped or confused or whatever we can do with that. Then we got Enemy Skill, Master Command, again primarily for Mime, Restore all. Then for some other materia I'm not using, Ultima and Comet, we're really going to be using our physical attacks now that we have our ultimate weapons, so I'm not going to use them, maybe in the final battles, but not right now. Quadra Magic, again, with the same thing with the magic there. Add Cut, I'd only use if I had Death Blow. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else that I really care to go over. I'm not going to use Counter Attack, because that can interfere with mine. And Summons, I got Master Summon. Okay, well that's everything I need. Okay, so, uh, oh, you know what, there's one more thing I wanted to do before I go to the North Cave. Let's return to Costa del Sol, now that I'm a rich man, got some things to blow my money before the end of the world, why not? Remember the guy here who said he was selling his house? Well, let's talk to him again. Boy, he hopped on his out of his bed pretty fast. Praise the Lord! Sure, why not? I could use a house. Yay, I get a victory noise. Well, hey! Aren't you gonna sign the deed over to me? Well, let's see. Okay, well, I got a house all to myself now. What? I, I can't even use the bedroom as a free inn? The game could have at least done that. Can't even use the toilets. Ah, whatever. Well, we got a guy to manage the house for us, so that's nice. Eh, I just thought I'd show that little tidbit out. Well, I think that's all that I can do in the rest of the world here, so now let's go, finally, go to the North Cave to save the world! It took me a little while to gather my emotions there, viewers. Sorry, it's just... For some reason, that theme, whenever someone's dying on Red there, provokes more of an emotional response than even Eris's death theme. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just... You know, I'm so desensitized to Eris's death. I've seen it and heard it so many times, it just doesn't bother me that much anymore. I mean, it does a little but still, but it doesn't you know, make me cry anymore. It used to, though. Let's go. We're all set and ready to go. See that cave to the left there? That's where you can, uh, go, that's where you'll come out, and you can climb the rocks there to get back to your airship to get out of here. Ooh, I like the music here. Oh. 
And here we get the save crystal. What that does is anywhere in the final area you can use that, you'll create a save point. So I'm going to save it for the very bottom of the crater when we get there. But that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time we'll begin our adventure deeper into the Northern Cave and look for Sephiroth and save the world. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.